हेलो एवरी वन आई एम शिखा श्रीवास्तव फ्रॉम लास्ट ईयर फैकल्टी ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ लखनऊ डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग टुडे आई एम ईयर टू रिप्रेजेंट माई सेमिनार ऑन द टॉपिक अंडर वाटर वन मिल अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ इंजीनियर जीतेंद्र प्रताप सिंह इन कंटेंट्स वी विल सी इंट्रोडक्शन मेन पार्ट्स वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल टाइप्स एडवांटेजेस एंड डिसएडवांटेजेस ग्लोबल रिसोर्सेज कॉन्क्लूजन केस स्टडी एंड इन लास्ट वी विल सी रेफरेंसेस इंट्रोडक्शन व्हाई इट इज कॉल्ड एज अंडर वाटर विंडमिल सो बेसिकली इट्स लाइक पुटिंग अ विंडमिल इन द वाटर और एट इट्स लुकिंग लाइक अ विंडमिल एंड और इंस्टॉल इट ऑन द ओशन फ्लोर एंड लार्ज रिवर बेड दैट मीन्स दीज आर अंडर द वाटर as you can see from the figure figure number 1 consuming and harnessing the power generated under the ocean figure 2 which is representing seas and technology main parts what are the main parts turbines gear box generator केबल्स सपोर्ट प्रिंसिपल ऑफ ऑपरेशन इन सिंपल आप अंडर वाटर विंडमिल कंसिस्ट ऑफ अ नंबर ऑफ ब्लेड्स माउंटेड ऑन हब अ गेयर बॉक्स एंड अ जनरेटर दीज हाइड्रोडाइनमिक इफेक्ट ऑफ द फ्लोइंग वाटर पास द ब्लेड्स कॉजेस द रोटर टू रोटेट दस टर्निंग द जनरेटर टू विद द रोटर्स कनेक्ट बाय गेयर बॉक्स The gearbox is used is used to convert the rotational speed of the rotor shaft to the desired output speed of the generator shaft. The electricity generated is transmitted to land through cables. Types. There are two types of underwater windmill. First one is horizontal axis underwater mill. Second one is vertical axis underwater windmill. In horizontal axis underwater windmill, the rotor shaft is parallel to the direction of flow of water, and in vertical axis underwater windmill, the rotor shaft is perpendicular to the direction of flow of water. As you can see from the figure, tides coming in, tides tide going out. This tidal electricity. generation works as the tides coming in and again when it goes out the turbines are driven by the power of the sea in both directions about turbines the turbines can convert kinetic hydro energy into power ranging from 25 kw to 250 kw depending on turbine size and current kinetic energy is converted to mechanical power in a nacelle within the turbine working underwater tidal underwater turbines are fairly straightforward concept as far as cutting is energy technology goes they are essentially windmill installed on to an ocean floor or a river bed the underwater current produced by the tides spins blades arranged like an airplane propeller these turbines are attached to a gearbox which is connected to an electrical generator this produces the electricity that is carried carried by cable to shore once it's plugged into an electrical grid the electricity electricity can be distributed how it is different from the other mill from water mill from wind mill we will see by the definition one the water mill a water mill is a structure that use a water well or turbines to drive a mechanical process such as flour lumber or textile production or metal shaping which is rolling grinding or wire drawing there are two basic types of water mill one powered by a vertical water well by a gearing mechanism and other equipped with a horizontal water well without such a mechanism the format types can be further divided depending on whether the water has the well 
that is into into undershot overshot west shot and reverse shot water mills this is a figure of water mill from belgium in 12th century this is a diagram of undershot water mill overshot water mill and breastshot water mill in different centuries windmill windmill wind turbines convert the kinetic energy in the wind into mechanical power this mechanical power can be used for a specific tasks such as grinding grain or pumping water or can be converted into electricity by a generator advantages the advantages of underwater mill is much more than disadvantages the advantages are uses tidal energy which is a clean and renewable source of energy have laser laser impact on the environment low running cost long lifetime with little maintenance reduce the dependence upon fossil fuels disadvantages the initial cost is too high very difficult to in install the blade must be coated to avoid corrosion special type material must have to use for blade global resources it is widely agreed that tidal stream energy capacity could be exceed 120 gigawatt globally the uk has one of the largest marine energy resources in the world conclusion tides play a very important role in the formation of global climate climate as well as the ecosystem for ocean habitants at the same time tides are the substantial potential source of clean renewable energy for the future human generations depleting oil re reserve the emission of greenhouse gases by burning coal oil and other fossil fuels as well as accumulation of nuclear waste from nuclear reactor with inevitably force people to replace most of our traditional energy source with renewable energy in the future tidal energy is one of the best candidates for this approaching renewable re revolution development of new efficient low cost and the environmentally friendly environment friendly hydraulic energy converts suitable to free flow waters this type of machine moreover can be used not only for multi megawatt tidal power farms but also for many power station with turbines generating a few kilowatts this is a case study there's a last scope of underwater mill in north american and european countries especially in scotland one thought of its total electricity demands at the meter through underwater mill or tidal stream generator some other countries like uk and netherland or uh, uh, netherland are also having such underwater mill plants the gujarat government if you talk about in india so in india the gujarat government is all set to develop india's first tidal energy plant the state government has approved 25 crore for the setting up to fifth up to the 50 megawatt plant and the gov to cut it will produce energy from the ocean tides and this is reference